There is one more thing that should be said about this hijab issue. A lot of times, sisters get the feeling that this is a restriction on women, and how come men don't have the same thing, and you know, it becomes like a you know, equal rights type thing, a women's lib type issue. And that's how it's framed. That's not fair to the deen also. First of all, if we believe this is the religion of truth, then we believe that Allah created man and woman. And He knows man better than man knows himself, and He knows woman better than woman knows herself. And He knows exactly what man needs, and He knows exactly what woman needs. Let me give you a small example. So parents, they see their kids having an argument. They take both kids and they give them a solution. You do this and you do that. And one of them says, oh, it's not fair. You always side with that one. The matter of fact is maybe the parent does fear one over the other and you know, prefer one over the other. Because that's a human being. In the end, it's a parent. Or maybe the parent knows better. In the case of Allah solving our disputes, there's a, a woman saying Allah has more restrictions on women than He has on men. This debate becomes a debate between men and women, and who's going to resolve that debate? Allah is. When we accept Qur'an as guidance, then we've said, Allah is going to be more fair to me than anybody else can be. And as an extension, I want to share with you a beautiful ayah, Surah An-Nisa, this is the Surah of Women. Allah says, وَلَا تَتَمَنَّوْ مَا فَضَّلَ اللَّهُ بَعْضُكُمْ عَلَى فَضَّلَ اللَّهُ بِهِ بَعْضُكُمْ عَلَى بَعْضُ I'll translate it in English. Don't, give, don't wish for what Allah Himself gave preference in terms of uh, some over the other. Allah gave someone some blessings, some powers, some rights, some restrictions. And He gave you different rights, different, different responsibilities, different restrictions. Don't vie for the other and say, how come I can't have what he has? And he shouldn't say, how come I have what she has? Allah says, لِلْرِجَالِ نَصِيبٌ مِّمَّا اكْتَسَبُوا Same ayah. He says, for men, they will only have what they get to earn in good deeds. That's in the end what they've earned for themselves. وَلِلْنِسَاءِ نَصِيبٌ مِّمَّا اكْتَسَبْنَا And for women, all they get is what they've earned in terms of good deeds. وَكُلًّا وَعَدَ you know, uh, uh, so, Allah min fadli and ask Allah for His favor. Don't vie for one another's things. And this is not a competition between men and women. This is a competition on who does more good deeds. Allah mm-hmm. changes our mentality about this subject, you know? Mm-hmm. So, this is really a, a, a thinking, a, an intellectual transformation that a person has to go through. And until they go through that, they're not going to see the point in any of Allah's instructions. Mm-hmm. Whichever they don't want to follow, they can easily say it's outdated, it's not for our times, it's not fair. They can come up with a list of complaints. And that's not something restricted to non-Muslims, it'll happen to Muslims too. Just like that sister went through a transformation and came to Islam, we're at a time now where a lot of Muslims have to go through a transformation and also come back to Islam.